So one of the trends that I see uh, is that organizations increasingly are going for the concept of lifelong learning. So they want their employees to upgrade themselves. They want them to upskill themselves. And in that sense, we are also in some ways moving towards an, what I call an auto-directed world, which means that the participants are going to decide where do they want to learn, what do they want to learn, when do they want to learn, and how do they want to learn. And therefore, that is going to be the future of the skilling. Recently, I was uh, in an event uh, where about 300 deans from all over the world, they met and we tried to figure out what are those skills that would be required in the industry 4.0. And what we agreed upon was that we will need skills in AI and ML. We will need big data analytics. We will need complex decision making. We will need conflict management and negotiation. And we will also need skills of collaboration, including virtual collaboration. So these skills, which is a combination of technical skills and people skills, are going to be the skills of tomorrow. See, there are lots of things that organizations can do. One is obviously they should have a repertoire of what their employees need. And they need to make sure that they're giving them the best skilling and training programs. That is number one. Number two, the organization should also work closely with the academic institutions and, and share knowledge. For example, as an academician, I would love to know as to what is going on in the industry, the way the industry thinks. And likewise, the industry ought to know as to what do academicians think the way or the direction that the industry is going to take. So I think through various bodies, such as say the boards, the advisory boards, the board of studies, etc., There has to be more of a dialogue between the industry and academia. Technology is, has always been the medium and now with the chat GPT coming in, we'll soon have the video GPT and probably the audio GPT, etc. I think technology is going to play an important role in ensuring that we can impart education in whichever way we possibly can and in whichever way the participants actually want. So I see that there's going to be a big rise in asynchronous programs, so far as skilling programs is concerned, which will possibly form a part of either the pre-training or the post-training, etc. And technology will always have a great role to play there. Thank you.